Hey, this is Tanya. I am sharing with you today one of my favorite Psalms in the whole Bible, Psalm 20. It has just encouraged me through the years and the Lord will bring back verses. I really like the ones that say in Psalm 20, he fulfills all our petitions and grants all our requests. Amen. If you've ever asked him anything, that's a petition, a request. Like when you ask parents or teachers or authority figures or your spouse or something, would you do this for me? Or can I have this? God is a good God. He's a sweet daddy God and he loves to grant our petitions and all the more as we grow closer to him because our desires become his. And he has sweet things for us, wonderful things for us. His plans for us are good and not evil. That's what Jeremiah 29 11 says. So what I want to do today is I'm going to share three versions of Psalm 20 with you. You can pick your favorite or even find another one. There's so many versions of the Bible that the Lord provides for us so we can know him. There's something for everyone, so to speak. And there's all kinds of languages, BibleGateway.com, Blue Bible, or BlueLetterBible.org. Go for it. Just get on Google and search or go to any bookstore, even in the dollar stores in America. You can find Bibles for sale. So there's no excuse to not be in the Word. And even if you take one verse, if you just took one verse for the rest of your life, and meditated on it, which means think about it over and over, speak it out, ask the Lord to reveal you, reveal new things to you. He can take that one verse and show you so much. He is the phenomenal, never-ending revelation, and his Bible is a living book. And this is the answer to all your problems, believe it or not. This is the answer, the Word of God. So. Before I get off into a lot of different sermons, let me do what I said I was going to do. I'm going to read you three versions of Psalm 20. And I believe this will strengthen you. And of course, when we, well, as I used to teach and pick up my, my daughter, who's now 23, graduated from college, married, and on her own. When I taught her homeschool in sixth and seventh grade, I would say, repetition's how we learn, repetition's how we learn. And then we, we did that later on. My husband and I did that later on as she grew and went to high school and college. Repetition's how we learn. Repetition's how we Mom, okay, you got it. You understand. But with the Word of God, the living Word, there's more and more revelation He gives you. It's not the same old thing. You're not just memorizing the Word. You're memorizing life. You are ingesting life into yourself. For His words are spirit and life. John 6.63. So here we go. This is the Passion Translation, <clears throat> one of my very favorites, and I had the honor to hear Dr. Brian Simmons, who translated the Passion Translation himself, and is still working on uh, different Old Testament books, I believe. I heard him speak at a Joan Hunter conference, and oh, his heart is so wonderful. He and his wife were missionaries uh, to a tribe, I think, in a pygmy tribe. They didn't even have a full language. I don't think they had a word written down for love. Maybe they didn't have a written language, but he said they were much more interested, not in his degrees, but much more interested in how he showed love to his wife and his family. And that's what this is. This is God's love letter to you and to me. Psalm 20. Ah, in the Passion Version it says, A Song of Trust. This says, for the pure and shining one for the end times by King David. So King David wrote Psalm 20. In your day of danger, may the Lord answer and deliver you. May the name of the God of Jacob set you safely on high. May supernatural help be sent from his sanctuary. May he support you from Zion's fortress. May he remember every gift you have given him and celebrate every sacrifice of love you have shown him. Amen. And God has an excellent memory. The only thing he chooses to forget is our sins when we repent. Hallelujah. May God give you every desire of your heart and carry out your every plan as you go to battle. When you succeed, we will celebrate and shout for joy. Yes, you can shout for joy for yourself because you can shout God is for you and he's shouting with you. He's your loving daddy if you know Jesus as your Savior and Lord. Okay. Flags will fly when victory is yours. Amen. That's right. And we have the victory of Jesus already. Yes, God will answer your prayers 
and we will praise him. I know God gives me all that I ask for and brings victory to his anointed king. We are his anointed kings. We are kings and priests of the Most High God when we know Jesus as our Savior and Lord. <clears throat> and we are seated in heavenly places. So we're actually proclaiming these things, the Word of God, from our seats in heaven. Another sermon. Let's go on. My deliverance cry will be heard in his holy heaven. By his mighty hand, miracles will manifest, yes, through his saving strength. Some find their strength in their weapons and wisdom, but my miracle deliverance can never be won by men. That's right. Our boast is in the Lord our God, who makes us strong and gives us victory. That's right. Jehovah Nisi is the Lord of Victorious Miracle Banner. That's one of my favorite names for God. I've called on Jehovah Nisi many times. He always comes through. Glory to God. Our enemies will not prevail. They will only collapse and perish in defeat while we rise up full of courage. Give victory to our King, O oh God. Sorry. Give victory to your king, O God. We are his kings, not king of God, but he is the king of kings, and we are the kings he's king of, as Dr. Keith Moore says. So give victory to your king, O God. The day we call on you, give us your answer. Amen. That is the Passion Translation. Excellent. My husband got me this. I'm so glad. Actually, my husband has bought me just about every Bible I've ever had. I love my husband. He's a man of God. Mighty man of God himself. Okay, this is a printout I keep on my my mirror in my bathroom so I can see it every day and throughout the day. Psalm 20, the Amplified Classic Version. I really like this also. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob set you on high and defend you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Send you help from the sanctuary and support, refresh, and strengthen you from Zion. Remember all your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifice? Selah. That means pause and think about that. May he grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all your plans. We will shout in triumph at your salvation and victory, and in the name of our God we will set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in and boast of chariots and some of horses, but we trust in and boast of the name of the Lord our God, Yahweh. They, talking about the enemy, are bowed down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. O Lord, give victory. Let the King, capital K, meaning Jesus, let the King answer us when we call. Amen. That is verse 1 through 9. Great. Now the third version is the message. Oops, one of my papers fell out. It's okay, I'll get it later. This says, God answer you on the day you crash. This is the message version. It's a paraphrase, I think, but it's really, it can really minister. God can use any version to minister to you. So just go by the Holy Spirit, ask him for guidance. He will show you what's best for you. He created you, he knows you better than you know yourself. He knows what version of the Bible will minister to you. Hallelujah. I grew up on King James, and it wasn't until my early 20s that I discovered NIV. And that's a more literal translation of the way we talk now, so I understood more. But God still ministered to me through the King James Version. And I got born again when I was nine, having studied the King James Version before then in Sunday school and church. And so he can use anything. The King James Version is also very beautiful in many areas. All right, let's continue with the message version of Psalm 20. Let me start over. God answer you on the day you crash. The name God of Jacob puts you out of harm's reach. Send reinforcements from Holy Hill. Dispatch from Zion fresh supplies. Exclaim over your offerings. Celebrate your sacrifices. God is awesome and animated. He has a soul, mind, will, and emotions. He's excited over you. He delights over you. He sings over you. That's either Zephaniah or Zechariah, but it's in there. I think it's 4-6. Look up Zechariah or Zephaniah. They're all good, so here we go. Give you what your heart desires. 
accomplish your plans. We're the doers, he's the helper. We can do nothing apart from him, and we are nothing apart from him. But we take a step, we go by faith, we listen to the Lord, we pray, we get in the word, we worship, we live right, we repent where we need to. We ask the Lord to help us. He's our good daddy. He's our good shepherd, Jehovah Rohi. So he leads us. We take a step in faith, believing we're going his way, and we've missed it. I've missed it many times, but he knows my heart, and his mercy keeps us. So we take a step, and he's faithful to guide us. We may need to be corrected often, like the NASA spaceship, that even like when I told, taught kids in public school, I'd say, you know, that NASA has a rocket, and they put all this money and time into it, and these brilliant people are directing it, they shoot it off, but they have to constantly monitor it, because if, if that rocket gets off one degree and keeps going, it will never hit its target, so constant adjustment is needed, not only for the NASA rocket, but especially for us Christians and especially in this time. This is your correction tool, your navigator, the Word of God, the living Word of God, who is Jesus Christ, John 1. Let's continue, shall we? All right, when you win, we plan to raise the roof and lead the parade with our banners. So these, this is a picture to me of the body of Christ that should be celebrating with one another over victories, not jealous and striving against each other, but we're all on the same team of the same royal family if we're truly born again by the blood of Jesus Christ. We're supposed to be helping each other to accomplish Daddy God's plan, which is to bring as many other possible people into the family of God. And that only comes through repenting and being born again through faith in the blood of Jesus Christ. By the way, hallelujah. All right, may all your wishes come true. That clinches it, helps coming, and answers on the way. So if you're wondering what the answer is, get in the Word, pray, listen, worship, ask God to help you here. He will help you. He will show you the answer. He's a good Father. Usually we want the answers like that. Our minds want to know what's going to happen. Our minds want to know all the details. You have to tell your mind to shut up, like Dr. Bill Winston says, and just... I'm talking to myself. Choose to rest because, and choose to cast your cares on the Lord, which means choose to stop worrying and rest is what that means. And trust God. He always comes through. We are hoping the Lord will not be disappointed. Things may not work out like you wanted, but God knows what's best for you. He is faithful and true and good. And He works all things together for your best and His glory when you're His child by faith in the blood of Christ. And he loved you as much as he loved Jesus. Amen. All right. Everything's going to work out. That's right. And that's a message we all need to hear in these weird COVID whatever days. All the wars and the riots and the burnings and the just mess. These are the beginnings of sorrows, but God gives us heaven on earth when we stay, come under cover and stay under cover live as much as we know to please him he helps us his mercy endures forever thank god let's finish shall we so these people polishing oh see these people polishing their chariots and those others grooming their horses but we're making garlands or decorations for god our god the chariots will rust the horses will pull up lame and we'll be on our feet standing tall because God is for us. Make the king a winner, God. The day we call, give us your answer. And indeed, as he's told me before, even years ago, even before I, we cry, he answers. He sees our lives, all of it, as in a circular thing. The end from the beginning. He's already gone ahead of us and planned good and worked good out of evil where the enemy would try to mess us up or where we would make a misstep or he's good if you can't think of anything else to say just say father you're good you're faithful i can't even bear to think about stuff right now but you know what i'm just going to choose to quit worrying and rest in you you are the way you'll show me the way i uh, thank you for your peace i receive it and I thank you for your word that never changes. If everything else in your world shakes and rattles and rolls and breaks, the mighty, eternal, living word of God will not. 
Jesus Christ, his word, he is the word, is the one thing you can always forever trust on. God bless. Happy reading. Happy abundant living in Jesus' name.